All right, toast me, you beautiful, beautiful people. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Back again at the Rusty Cannon Pub here in Austin, Texas, hanging out with Kat and Liz. Here's the thing, a friend of mine, a magician, very talented individual, Alan Rorison, hit me up with a video saying, you ever see this one? And I was like, no, no I have not. Totally fooled me. Here's the question. Do either of you ladies know how to spin a quarter, do this thing, where you just grab it and, and get it spinning? I can do that. You can do that? I can All right, do that. show me, show me. Just just as a test. I can't do it like you. It's no. not for money. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to flick it. That's fine, that's fine, that's great, that's great. That was awesome. <laughs> so here is the bar bet. All you have to do is grab a twist off bottle cap. In this case, I have a Lone Star one. You've got two sides. You got the side with some kind of puzzle on it, you got the side with a star on it. If I were to spin it, just like we did with the quarter, which side do you think it'll end up on? The star side or the, I don't know, we'll say buttercup side? We'll start down. Recap. I was gonna say star. All right, so both of you guys said it was gonna be puzzle side up. Yeah. So we'll do five spins, but it has to be a good spin. You can't like just let it go like that, right? I'm gonna say if your side comes up even once, I'll buy you both drinks, and if not, I will accept a drink as victor of this challenge. Okay, okay. But I'll go first. Now in that case, you could think like, oh, he's a magician, he's doing a tricky move or whatever. So I want both of you guys good spins. I, I, I want to see lots of the spinning action happening, just like with the quarter. <laughs> Here, yeah. We'll call that your first. Keep okay, going. Okay, that's Keep going. my first. Try again. Okay. How many times do I? You know what? I'm, I'm going to say that. Ooh, this is the third attempt. Okay, okay keep going. Keep going. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Here, keep going. We'll let you go to 10. <laughs> 10. <Nine>. Seven. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> I see what you did there. Nine. <laughs> 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I'm gonna explain how this works. I'm gonna toast both of you, and then we're gonna toast. Mm. Okay, this is one of those where I don't know why it works, I just know that it works. And here's what I suspect. I suspect that the same force that makes this biased to fall over to the puzzle side acts in reverse when it's spinning around a bunch. Because what's wild, I played around with this, you can even cheat it so that the puzzle side is way in favor. Watch what happens if you try to lean it over, Wow. It actually wow. flips itself over. Do that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here, you got the puzzle side up, and it actually flips itself over. I think it's about the centrifugal force that pulls everything out, causes it to roll, and then land face up on there. But isn't that amazing? Isn't yeah, that is. counterintuitive? That's pretty cool. All right, well then toast me, you beautiful people. And I will buy you both drinks. Thank you.